Hey, what's going on boys? I'm gonna show you two jump binds you should have today. Jump binds being a normal jump throw. You have bound to a certain key, which in my case is X for a normal jump throw, and then C for a step jump throw. And obviously you can tell by clicking it, it actually steps forward as a jump throw. I'm also gonna show you how you can de-sub tick your movement. The movement feels more like Counter-Strike Global Offensive compared to Counter-Strike 2. Counter-Strike 2, the movement feels kind of sluggish, and when I'm trying to jiggle peek something, it's just off, and it, it hasn't really felt good since the beta came out. And while these commands might be placebo, they've made a little bit of a difference for me. So as you can see, these are all the files you need, and if you don't have an auto-exec, this is my auto-exec. I will have the link to the paste bin down in the video description. But instead of looking over my auto exec we're just going to take a look at the bottom commands this being the alias commands obviously with the one of their most recent updates to counter-strike they actually re-sub tick the alias commands but there's already a workaround to unsub tick them again and it's having each individual file so if we open backdoor.cfg you can clearly see it's plus jump minus jump like it would be in a normal file or your auto exec, you're just basically going to exec another file into your auto exec and that fixes the D sub ticking. So you do this with your movement and then obviously you still have the alias jump bind commands and because they re sub tick the commands, jump binds are very inconsistent. This is one of the ways online I've actually seen you could D sub tick the alias jump binds again. So I figured I'd make a video on it, make it more widespread and more known until Valve inevitably messes it up again. Obviously you can see my jump bind is X for normal jump throw. Two jump throws you should have, they're very essential. So basically you're gonna find your CFG file and then you're gonna see all of your config and stuff, but you're gonna make individual files like I have displayed on the screen here. You're gonna make notepads and you're gonna turn them into CFG files or you can take your normal CFG file, copy it, change the name of it to these individual things, and then you're gonna add, as I have shown here, all of this alias binds to your auto exec. If you don't have an auto exec, I recommend you make one. It's very useful. Like I said, I have everything in the pastebin that you need, all of the separate files, my auto exec, and everything you need to de-sub tick your game and make it feel and play a lot better. Something else you wanna make sure you do, if you do add an auto exec into your Counter-Strike config, click on CS2, go to properties. You're gonna come down to your launch options. You're actually gonna add this exec auto exec.cfg file. You have to have this in your launch options to exec your auto exec, or every time you go into Counter-Strike, you're gonna have to type exec auto exec.cfg. So those are just some ways you can actually make this game feel more like the game we know and love, which is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And hopefully Valve will listen to the community and actually allow us to de-sub de tick the commands and have our games run nice and smooth compared to the muddiness of normal Counter-Strike 2. If you like the video, subscribe here on YouTube, follow my Twitch, follow my Twitter. I appreciate all the support. Let me know what you guys want to see next.